y'all this is dina welcome to my channel i am back y'all making a christmas in july project i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get it all done tonight but i'm definitely gonna try i'm gonna try not to linger too long on things but today i came in my craft room and i was looking for a notepad to write on for work and i found this one and this one in my stash and y'all i love this one this one uh, might be a, some kind of different journal eventually, but I got these um, at Michael's and I've had them in my stash probably a year. And so I know that this is a recollections brand. I don't have the little tablet or the tag that, that came on it like this one, but um, yeah, it, I believe it's recollections. Now where I find them in my store is like, um, by the cards and so forth and the inks and different things like that. That's where they have them in my Michaels. So you might be able to find it there. So when I saw this, I thought, you know what? I am going to make something for Christmas in July using this. And then I started thinking, I'm gonna, since I'm gonna do Christmas in July, and by the way, all my videos from now to, to July are not all gonna be Christmas in July. I'm just gonna do random ones. You'll see they're labeled Christmas in July if they are. Um, but anyway, I have this paper. I ordered this one from scrapbook.com and I absolutely love it. This is my color play and homemade for the holidays and it's a photo play paper. But y'all, it is so beautiful. It's just vibrant. See, it's got a couple of, it's got two sheets of recipe cards. It's got um, these right here. Look at the cookies and y'all. How, how beautiful, look at that, I love it. And anyway, it's just a beautiful, beautiful collection. And I thought, you know what, I am going to utilize my little, I'm gonna call this my, my recipe book. I'm gonna utilize this and make a recipe book. And this could be something maybe in the future if I give it to my swap partner or whatever. But I just thought it would be really cute to utilize this and it would be good and sturdy and you could make a recipe book out of this. Now I might give it in my swap or I might save it for my Christmas craft fair because um, I have sold things like this before and they sell, they sell. Um, so anyway, yeah, that is what I think I'm gonna do for this project. So I hope if you're interested, you will stick around. Here is the sticker sheet. And um, yeah, y'all, this is going to be, this is going to be fun. It's gonna be something fun and different. And I just love Christmas crafting, so I'm just going for it. Okay, so what I've decided to do is I have made one of these before, and I made it when before I had my swap group, and I was kind of new to YouTube and all that, but I was in a little group before, and I don't think that group is, you know, opened up anymore. But I had met Shamika, which is Mika Boo, on Instagram. She's so wonderful, y'all. She's so creative. And she has her own channel too. And I believe, I think it's Mikaboo. I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, you, you would love her. Anyway, she's been in my craft group and everything. She swaps on occasion and stuff like that. But I made one like this with like, that made it like 25 days at Christmas or whatever. And I um, made one like this, added like two or three of these together and made it big and chunky. And it was so much fun. It was a little time consuming, but it was a lot of fun. So I thought that I would do that with this. Now, whenever I did it before, I covered the whole thing. And I think that I'm not going to cover the whole thing. And I've gone ahead and I've cut myself some red paper. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover it like this and I'm still gonna leave this up here. That's fine, I'm not worried about that. And um, yeah, I think that it would actually be very cute. And it's still kind of, it makes it kind of rustic like. So anyway, I've gone ahead, I've cut myself red paper. I'm gonna go with red on this. And I've cut my red paper down and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put red paper on all the pages. Now I'm not gonna do the front and the back yet. I'm just gonna work on the pages and see how easy and how, how quick I could do these. So I'm gonna go ahead, let me see, I think I'll use, let me see about using this tape right here. So I'm gonna put my tape all the way up along the edge. I did have someone yesterday tell me, um, it's not July. I know, I know y'all. Christmas crafting is my favorite. And you know, I'm really gonna be getting serious about my 
my craft fair and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do mine where they're like this. I'm not gonna go all the way to the edge. I thought about doing that, but then I have to worry about punching the holes and it might not come out as, as nice as I would like it. So I'm just gonna do it like this. So I'm gonna finish Finish doing all of them that we have already got my paper on. And you can use any color you want. You don't even have to do Christmas if you don't want to, but I love it, so I'm going for it. And I am going to just do all these. See, so I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna get all these on, so that way it's all ready to go. Okay, so I've already matted these, put all my red paper on these, and I've already cut out the recipe cards. And I went ahead and cut myself a piece of red for the front, and I think I'm going to use this one as my part of my front cover. And I thought that that would be really pretty as well. So let me just see, I decided to pull out my border punch and I'm not gonna go through the demo of how I'm cutting these because I've showed y'all before when I opened it, but I did have someone that asked me, does it take 12 by 12 paper? So this paper is 11 inches and you see I have space. So the answer is yes. This is a 65 pound, um, let me see, this one right here is actually, it's thicker. So let me put it in here, I'll just punch once and I'll be able to give you your answer. And absolutely, it punches just fine. Might as well go ahead and do this one. So I didn't use it in my book. And there you go. So it punched out just fine. So yes, it does take 12 by 12 paper. And yes, it will punch through thick cardstock. So there is the answer for that one. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Get my mess moved. Because so I thought I would just utilize that. I thought it would be great to add some little decorative pieces underneath my papers. So maybe not all of them, but just a couple. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna spend tons of time on decorating the pages. I'm gonna, I am going to decorate them, but I'm gonna go ahead and I wanna add, add some um, of my, my postcards or my recipe cards on here. And I was thinking this would be really, really pretty underneath and I might make it go all the way to the side. And isn't that going to be just gorgeous having that sticking out all the way. You can use ribbon, you can use straight paper. It doesn't have to be all the same one. So I think that that will be beautiful. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this laid down. Let me see where I can cut it. Make myself a little crease right there. I'm just gonna cut it. And I'm just gonna add some glue. Let me grab my glue. I'm gonna put my glue on the back. It's kind of like random. You don't have to do the whole thing because it's going to be underneath the postcard and that's going to have adhesive, so it'll be fine. Mainly importance of, of having it, having it the ends where they'll lay down the best you can. And I think I'm just going to add about like that. And I love that. Don't you just love that with the red? Now I'm gonna take, let me see which one of these I wanna go with here. I don't know why I'm looking, I'm gonna use them all. So I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna add these just like this, super simple and easy and just pretty. I'm gonna add my glue. And if you're doing this to give it to someone, you can always add in some recipes in my group we have done a recipe swap before and that was really fun so see how that decorated up just gave it a little bit on the end okay so i'm going to add i'm going to go and add the rest of my recipe cards and i'm not going to do the same thing i'll probably will maybe just do like straight strips of white paper on some 
let me cut that. I'll cut one and then I'll start decorating off, off camera so this doesn't take too long. I think I'll cut like about an inch. And whenever you cut your papers, you can if you want to cover the whole the whole thing, you can. If you want to cover from side to side on this. But I just decided I wasn't going to. I was going to kind of just put it on, on the side. I'm going to cut, might as well cut a few of these. And you can just decorate this up any way you want. Okay, so let's add some paper. And I think what I'll do is put recipe cards on one side, and then the other side I might just put mat and put mat them for journaling and so forth. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on here. Kind of fold it so I know where to cut it. And I'm going to go ahead and add my glue. So what did everybody have for dinner? My husband's off on Monday, so he brought lunch home. And so we really, I didn't want to cook big or anything. So I made chicken salad. It was good. Okay, so there's that. Let me add my recipe card. Yeah, I made chicken salad. So if you have a good chicken salad recipe, let me know. The one that I use, I found it on Facebook, I think. And um, I'm a recipe person. I can't just think of it and make it. I need recipes and so forth. Look how cute that's already going to be. And um, so I used a rotisserie chicken that I got from my grocery store. And I put grapes and pecans and celery and a little bit of purple onion. And I put um, mayonnaise, a little Dijon mustard, and some lemon juice, salt and pepper. And I don't know if I said celery. I added a little celery. Oh, and pecans. Pecans. You've got to have pecans. Okay, so there we go. Let me add another one. So really, you can just take this. This is so simple. You can just take this and just add them in. Do whatever you want to do. And it'll be just simple and easy and really cute. I love, love, love that decorative trim coming out of there. I'm going to use the other one I have. And let's see. It's this one. Fold it right there. And add my glue so I'm gonna finish matting all the all the little recipe cards and I'm gonna go ahead and cut myself some white paper to mat the backs for journaling and for maybe new recipes um, that might want to be added in here and when I'm done with that I will come back and show you my progress Hey okay, y'all so I've done a little bit quite a bit of progress here I have added stickers I added these little labels at the top this is what the back looked like. This is the page I put the Christmas tree, and I decided I didn't want it. So this was a cut apart. It says, Santa, please stop here. We have cookies. I love it. And this could be a recipe or just a journaling area. And then um, here we've got this one. I added a sticker, a Baking Spirits Bright. And here is this one, and I put From the Kitchen Of. And then here we've got a little sticker, and I put Baked Goods at the top. And this is just sweet and simple. And then this one says recipes at the top. I love this one with that right there. And here it is. And this says secret. The secret ingredient is love. I cut that off of a cut apart. I really like that. And then here is this one. I put family favorite and a sticker. And then here's the back. I just was going to put something over here. But I just don't want to take away from the cute gingers. So I think they're darling. And then this one says sweet tidings. Added a little sticker over here. And then uh, here's the Santa, and I just put baking memories here. And it could have a picture, or it could be a recipe, or whatever. So now on the top, on the front, I added, I went ahead and I added a strip that was a piece of paper from the collection that I'm using. And I really want to utilize one of my big gingers. 
Um, I will link, I'll see if I can link a video below of how I made these big gingers. Um, I just love it. I have like a whole box of them when I was really into like making all the different gingers and stuff like that. And so I think they're cute. Let's see, I have, a, oh, you know what? Look at, I have some extras right here. Um, let me see this one. If I want to use this one or if I want to go ahead and keep using this one because of the bow tie is different. So cute. So, so cute. I think I'll stick with what I was going with. So anyway, I'll link a video below if you're interested in knowing how I made the ginger. I was in this ginger phase where I just wanted to keep making them. They're so much fun. So anyway, I think I'm going to put the ginger over here. And I know it's big, but I think I'm going to do the ginger over here. I really want to use this baked with love. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer it up multiple times. And... I'm going to put it on here and I'm going to add that ginger. I wanted something big and I think that is what I do. Add something. I wanted something big and so it stands out and it's happy and so forth. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can cut these down. See if I got, I kind of went off a little bit on my, on my scissors. I want to make sure this is even a little bit nicer. And then I'm going to add some red. So I think that'll be good. Got some tape there, but that's okay. I'll just use it. And then I'm going to add... I didn't know if I was going to be able to do this in one video. Um, hopefully you're still with me and hopefully you're enjoying this the process of me decorating this I think that is super cute okay so I think that this one is gonna go here I think I'm gonna put this over here I need to make sure it's down enough so it doesn't get in that hole I really like that and then um, there are over here, I have, I have, here I'll put the sticker back on. I have cookies right here. So let me see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop this up on some foam. And I think that that will really give it a, some dimension. Make it look good. But I really like, I really love this. And it was that tag. I cut the tag part off, of course. Okay, so I've got that one. Look how cute that is. And then I'm going to put this. It's kind of, kind of, kind of go off a little. I was going to put some foam tape on the back of that. But I think I'll glue it since I foam taped this one. So I'm just going to add my tape kind of hard with the bow, but I'm going to do it. Okay. It's just going to go like kind of under. Look at him. He's so cute. Now I'm thinking about using, I don't, I don't have any red foam letters. I'm going to see. I might use these stickers right here. Let me peel it off. I want to see what it looks like. Cookies. No, I don't like that. I already know I don't like that. I just, I think this looks nice and then that would just not look nice. So, I have some of these. These are kind of, even though they're gold, I mean, they might go. So, I want... I wanted to put cookies, but I need to, I think I have enough of the letters. So let me try and see. I'm just going to kind of lay them over. I'm going to stagger them. 
And actually the C might have to go over a little bit more than the O. And then I've got a K. And I E S. I don't know if I can fit it. I might go over a little more. And then I need an ES. So I think I can do it. Let me see. I'll put the S first. Let me move the E. The E is big. So I just want to place them. That way then I'll kind of know. I'll be able to put this in here. Okay. I can think I can make it fit. Okay, I think that that, I like that. See how that looks? That's cute. Okay, so I'm going to use my glue. Even though these are sticky, I'm going to use my glue and I'm going to start with the S and work my way back. Okay, I'm going to start over here. Because I wanted it to say cookies baked with love. So, I love it. I'm glad I put that ginger on there. I'll see if I can find um, a link to this journal, this book. I don't know if they, if I can find it, but I'll look on the Michael site. Definitely go. You can use any kind of like little journal that you want. And I think that'll be, I think it's cute. Okay, so that one kind of went up a little. little bit more gonna do kind of like that let me see if I can overlap that a little bit like that and put that up like that I think that might work how cute this is darling I love that. Look at that. That looks cute. I love that so much. Look at him. He's so cute. So cute. I don't think I need anything else on the front. I think the front is cute. Just like this. Cookies baked with love. And I love that so much. So on the back here, I just added some little ephemera pieces and I put baking list on here. It's kind of plain. Let me see if I have something else I can add. To it I have this let's see and it's like a string of popcorn let me see if I can just kind of get this off there we go I kind of gave it a little bit more decoration and then now that I'm not using the cookies and homemade for the holidays, um, no, I'll leave that off. I love that. That is so stinking cute. Okay, so I think the only thing I have left to do is um, just cover the back page. And um, so I'll be back and show you the final reveal. Okay, y'all. So here is the final reveal. Isn't this darling? I added some little rickrack on the top. Love the cover. It's so cute. And I just love how this turned out. I love this. I'm glad I was able to utilize this because I really liked it. And the sweet ginger is so cute on here. And just the paper is behind. I probably could have got away without putting the strip, but that's okay. So anyway, just a quick walkthrough. So this one, oh, I should have put it the other way, but that's okay. Okay, so here it is, this baking list. And then the recipes. And so it's going to have to be, I shouldn't have put this like this. Well, actually, I guess it's okay. But anyway, you'll just have to turn it back and forth. It's fine. Um, but anyway, here's the recipes. And then I love this one. Secret in ingredient is love. 
and then family favorite, and then the recipe, and then the sweet, sweet gingers over here. And then the baked goods, love this one. And just sweet and simple here, just sweet and simple. And then here's Baking Spirits Bright. And then of course we have the gingerbread, and then from the kitchen of, and then homemade. So cute, and I love how this one turned out. Oh, it's a, so cute. And then here we go, sweet tidings. And then lastly, we have this one, and I went and I added this hot cocoa recipe right here. And then on the back, I added this cut apart, and I added a strip of Rick Rack here. I think that that made it so cute. And then here is the back, and I put the homemade cookies on the back. So anyway, that is my sweet cookie album tonight, y'all. Sweet and simple. You can do this. Anybody can do this. It's beginner friendly. Pull out your paper and just start it going. I'll see if I can link this below. If not, use any kind of like journal that you have or anything. Decorate it up and make yourself a cookie recipe book. How cute is this? I love it. Anyway, uh, I'll, I guess I will let you guys go. I'm going to go in there and see what my husband is doing. I cleaned my craft room the other night, so I'm going to clean it up really fast so I don't leave it a mess again. If not, you know how it is. It'll start building up. But anyway, I am in love with how this turned out. I really love it. Let me know if you made it to the end. And uh, thank you so much, everyone, for watching, subscribing. And if you're not subscribed, I'd love your subscription. And I'd love for you to help me to continue to grow. Anyway, love you guys. Bye.